Just 7% of specialty drugs on the market today have biosimilar competitors in the U.S. But as a flood of patent protections expires over the next few years, that number is expected to more than triple. That's because between 2020 and 2030, patents for drugs generating a combined $200 billion in annual revenue will lose patent protection. That's spurring unprecedented expansion in the biosimilar market, which is growing at an estimated compound annual growth rate of 56% from $15 billion in 2020 to over $60 billion by 2030. Biosimilar drugs are cheaper and faster to bring to market thanks to the Food and Drug Administration's shorter approval process. While the median cost of development for new drugs hovers around $1 billion, costs for biosimilar range from just $100 million to $300 million. That lower cost of development allows companies to offer the drug to patients at a fraction of the cost, typically about 30% cheaper than the original. For Pressure Biosciences, ticker PBIO, the growing biosimilar market is right for its pressure-based borrow-fold system. The company designed the processing platform to give researchers precision control as they manipulate the unfolding and refolding of the protein drug candidates and other cell materials that are key to so many of the top biologics in development. The added precision made possible with the borrow-fold system can improve the efficiency of the manufacturing process and the quality of the resultant drug candidate. But it can also potentially level up the safety and efficiency of the drugs made, giving biofarms the opportunity to put out a biosimilar that's not just more affordable but also more effective. In 2018, Jazz Pharma's ticker J-A-Z-Z, Epidiolex, a seizure medication, became the first and only cannabis-derived prescription drug to receive FDA approval. Since then, more and more clinical trials are underway to develop other therapeutics, tapping the plant's medical uses, but approval has been painfully slow because complex regulations added so many extra steps and redundancies. That weedy regulatory landscape changed last year when President Biden signed the Medical Marijuana and Cannabis Oil Research Expansion Act into law in December. Drug developers will no longer need to seek separate approval from the Drug Enforcement Agency. PBI's UltraSeer technology platform is tailor-made to produce high-quality CBD nanoemulsions. It does this by breaking down the CBD oil into droplets that are so small they effectively become water-soluble. That can turn an active ingredient contained in the oil that is typically poorly absorbed by the human body into one that's more easily and more consistently absorbed. That could be a game changer for medical cannabis research, which has been plagued by promising but inconsistent clinical results due to the low and unpredictable absorption rates of most cannabis-derived compounds. Mm -hmm.